Good morning, wherever you are. I'm Jake Langendike for the Penn State Campus Weather Service with your forecast on this Wednesday, the 5th of November, 2014. Some other headlines we're keeping track for you. We are looking at a pretty gloomy Wednesday with mild temperatures, but for the next couple days, we are looking at a rainier and cooler pattern with a chance of snow this Friday. Stay tuned for that. And we are looking at a more cooler fall-like weather pattern for the long range. Let's take a live look from our sky cam overlooking the beautiful Happy Valley. We are looking at a pleasant morning with Mostly, mostly cloudy skies, temperature 52 degrees, winds coming from the west at around 9, 10 miles per hour. Across the center region, we are looking at a pretty cool start in the morning to our west, to the west of the area, 47 over in Clearfield, 43 Dubois. Off to the east, however, it is a tad bit warmer, 61 down in Sellins Grove, and over in Willingsport, we are looking at 58 degrees to start off your morning. Across the Commonwealth, we are looking at a pretty similar weather pattern, cool to the west, warmer to the east, 43 for the Franklin Butler County area, 49 in Pittsburgh. Down at least, however, like I said, it is warmer. 57 in Harrisburg and 59 over in Wilkes-Barre, Scranton. Over the last few hours, we did have a band of showers go across the uh, state, but here in the center region, we didn't get all that much. But as we pan out to the mid-Atlantic, we do have this pretty heavy band of showers from around the Shenandoah Valley area down to around Memphis. It shouldn't affect Pennsylvania all too much, but we do have a weather pattern coming in which should bring some pretty measurable rainfall to the area. Zooming out to around 10, 11 o'clock tonight, we do have this pretty heavy cluster of showers coming across central, southern Pennsylvania. Over, overnight, however, we could be looking at some pretty heavy downpours around Harrisburg, maybe into Philadelphia, but the rain should stay isolated across much of southern Pennsylvania. Here in the northern part of the state, we shouldn't get all too much. The rain should clear out by uh, Thursday afternoon, and we, we'll, be left, we'll be left with some scattered showers, maybe some moderate Downpour is mixed in there, but none too much. By 10 o'clock tomorrow, or Friday rather, we could be seeing some snow showers to the extreme north part of the state, but they should mainly stay to western New York and maybe into southern Ontario. How much rainfall are we expecting with this system? Quite a bit down in the southern part of the state. We could be expecting as much as one, maybe one and a half inches around Harrisburg. And we can be looking at as much as, much as an inch down in the Laurel Highlands area of Johnstown, Altoona, and into southeastern PA. Here in central Pennsylvania, however, we could be looking at a third, maybe half an inch in some parts of Center County. For today, however, we, could, we are looking at cloudy skies with some AM drizzle possible, high of around 58, light winds from the west. For tonight, however, we are looking at some increasing clouds with some light showers here and there. We're looking at a low of 43 degrees, winds coming from the west at around 3 to 5 miles per hour. Your seven day outlook looks a little something like this. We are looking at a pretty gloomy pattern over the next couple of days with temperatures dropping as much as 10, maybe 15 degrees in some parts of, uh, some parts of the state. For the weekend though, it should hold up. That's my forecast for the Penn State Campus Weather Service. I'm Jake Langendike. Have a nice day, folks.